thought it'd be a good idea to get a quick video of this thing before it goes to the uh, operating theater um, for some surgery. Uh, the paint doesn't look too bad this morning, I guess because it's wet. Um, there are some tiny scuff marks and things on it from, you know, the years. I don't know what, what happened there, but um, there's a bit of a ding here where someone tried to touch it up. I don't know if it's going to come through. But um, the flaky paint on the mirrors, the roof here. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, someone jumped on it and uh, it's kind of got some waves in it now. It's hard to see this morning because of the, the water sort of hiding it. But at certain angles you can sort of see the way the, the light refracts is probably not consistent with the rest of it over there. Um, what's hard to see without me opening the hatch is along here, they, they tend to rust, uh, get surface rust, so I'm hoping to take care of that um, before it gets worse. Really around the front is where the most damage is. I sort of scratched this panel here putting on the front bumper because I was careless. But um, and there's a bit of a scuff mark here. I can't remember what that's from. If it was there before or not, but it's there. A black bumper. The uh, lovely panda look. Uh, I couldn't find a silver bumper, but um, it's just sort of on there at the moment as a temporary thing. Anyway, I'm going to fit the later one. You can sort of see the, the paint mismatch here, the two tones, you can see the front fender and the, the hood doesn't look quite the same, although the door, because it was off the donor car, looks the same and the rear corner looks the same as well, so it's kind of a mystery that one. But um, yeah, and it doesn't quite align the way I would like it to here, but um, that's because that's the corner where it got the slight knock. So there's just some other things on the edge here. You can see some sort of paint chips. A couple of those are from when I fitted the, the door. Just chipped it along here as well, which is a little annoying. Um, in here as well, the paint's sort of coming off. So I want to sort that, because otherwise that could eventually lead to rust if it's exposed. Um, the wheel arch liner isn't on it at the moment. Uh, there's a couple of little dings, like I don't know if you can see that one. It's very small, but if you... Yeah, there it is. Um, down here, the sill is pinched. That's from before it was stolen, though. Uh, a couple of scuff marks and things. Again, before. But I uh, would like to sort those out, obviously. And then along here, you got... I know the paint has come off and so it's starting to rust. Um, I don't know how that happened because this, this door was off another car originally. Uh, I'm a bit of a dunce so I, I know, scratched the paintwork here when we were transporting the door. May or may not come out with a buff. But um, yeah. I guess just for the record, along here, it was once painted, I think, for this later uh, rear wing, which is didn't come on this year of cars, this is a 95, and that's the 99 spec, as they say, but uh, you can sort of see, it's not bad, really, that the paint line ends there, um, the rear hatch seal, they tend to all, I don't know, warp and do that. I don't think it's leaking, but uh, yeah, I think we may end up putting a new hatch seal in it anyway. Um, then around the back, so the paint is just a little dull. I don't know with a buffer if it'll come up, but it kind of, yeah, I think it could come up, come up well, but uh, we'll see what Mr. Panelman says. And 
that's from a bird. Bird shit, you know? It's acidic. Uh, there are a couple of scuff marks. I think someone in a shopping center. <coughs> a trolley or something. You know, it's always nice when people do that. And I guess, quick look at the interior anyway. So, fix the cubby door, they're always broken and missing. So it sort of drives me nuts when things are broken and missing. Um, I fixed the Apexi ECU to the dash the other day with the uh, R Magic holder. Just neatens things up a little, I think. Um, yeah, interior wise, it's not too bad. You can see I put the storage bins in. Rather than as tiny seats for tiny people uh, and I put the parcel shelf in there which is uh, I don't know it's not usually in a lot of FDs so it's good to get it in there just to cover things up so people can't pry into the boot and uh, that's that's about it I mean you can see it's still wearing the factory paint everywhere except for the front bumper now Know, the door jams and stuff so that's why I want to go with the factory color again I think you know it looks good when it's brand new but over the years it tends to fade a little but yeah that's the tour of uh, of the beast <laughs>